Hi, Dave with Shadywood Tree Experts. I wanted found something interesting that I wanted to point out. Uh, the purple crimson king maple. I've been no often noticing that uh, they're su subject to getting canker diseases that kind of eat away the bark and the trunks of the trees. And uh, I found one in a very early stage. I will show you. Um, this is the purple crimson king maple and the, the canker is not bad and but I think I traced it to its origin this is where it's developing here and this stuff here is just rotting away at the tree and the, it's black and it it's difficult for like funguses to penetrate the bark of the tree, but they often can get into like weak, weak branch crotches. And in this case, we got kind of a diseased stem here. And what I suspect is that these stub cuts, they don't heal properly. So the bacteria or fungus m most likely got in there and now it's spread to here and once a tree gets the canker there's little that can be done to stop it and trees typically they don't typically kill the tree outright but it will just kind of over time keep eating away at the bark and I guess what you can do to prevent that is proper trimming you know trimming in in the winter is always good because there's no not that many diseases are active so one important thing don't leave stub cuts you know we always trim just outside the branch collar I can show you quickly this the branch collar is just the big part so we trim we make the cuts here and those have the ability to heal the best the bark can heal or if you leave a stub the bark can't close up and it'll and it uh, can leave the tree vulnerable to disease so I'm Dave with Shadywood Tree and that's a quick uh, Crimson King Norway Maple thanks bye